Hi everyone. Happy October. Happy Inktober. Happy go crazy and make art every day. Over. Thanks for stopping back in. It's me, Jay Whitney Art, or Jessica, as I am known to go by officially. Um, but how are you guys? I hope you're well. I'm super excited, if you can't tell. I'm very excited. This is my year of redemption. I've talked about this a little bit in, you know, previous videos, but today's the day. It's day one. And the prompt is gargoyle. Okay, I'll be honest. Um, I haven't done Inktober in the past because some of the, the prompts are a little... They're either very literal or they're very abstract. So today being gargoyle, I decided to go very literal as you know, the prompt list is suggesting. This year specifically, I've never done Inktober actually. I've done other you know, prompt lists, but this year I'm doing Inktober. I almost didn't do Inktober because the first one was gargoyle and I was like, what else could I do except draw an actual gargoyle? And I didn't feel obligated to make a gargoyle. But, you know, I said I, I kind of promised myself that I would at least give it a try. So I went through, I looked at all the prompts, I did a bunch of sketches, kind of the first thing that came to mind. Um, if nothing came to mind, I drew something or kind of nothing or I played around with you know the words as concepts more than what they actually were I looked on some you know some inspiration on Pinterest I have got a lot of great sketches so I'm very excited that I decided to kind of push myself forward instead of just saying no this is ridiculous and I'm not doing it so I'm doing it this year I'm at least doing days one through three that's what I have so far of Inktober completely inked as okay it's 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 friday september 30th but you're watching this on saturday october 1st <laughs> so in the first clip you see me using my cold erase um sketching pencil from prismacolor and i'm just kind of getting the overall you know structure of you know this character giving a little bit of shading so I know kind of where you know the light is coming from it would be you know gargoyles are you know in this sense I didn't really do a lot of research on gargoyles but I love the show gargoyles that's on Disney Plus right now it's great from the 90s if you've not seen it go check it out if you want some quality you know I would say this more teenage cartoons than it is kid cartoons. Gargoyles is your show. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. Anyways, um, my gargoyle is a woman um, made of stone. She's kind of got some pointier, you know, joints. I, she's got wings. She's got horns. She's everything. Um, I, I was surprised that I was able to come up with, you know, this sketch and, you know, I said, if, am I going to be able to recreate this without, you know, having to go through the process of tracing and all that stuff. I just did, I just wanted to redraw it. So that's what I decided to do. I, uh, did a redraw of, you know, my initial sketch in the sketchbook that I'm using for, you know, Inktober. I use the uh, erasable color pencil first then I used uh, polychromos because they are I think they're wax so they're they're uh, waterproof or water resistant at least I didn't have any issues I they they work they do exactly what I wanted them to do they work um, then I took a drop or two of the acrylic ink put it in my palette diluted it with water and I started with washes and that's what I said I was gonna do in my last video about um, the ink versus watercolor I said I was probably gonna go with doing washes and doing the outline with ink it's exactly what I ended up doing and now we're at the inking portion um, where I'm using the nib 
I don't, you know what? I enjoy using the nib. My only issue is getting used to it. If you press it too hard, you kind of get a pool of ink and it's ink so it's not like you can pick it up if it touches the paper and this is Bristol which is great it's great for ink but it sucks it up if, it, if you get it on there especially the pure ink from the dip pen it's stained and that can either be a good thing or a bad thing I've only had well actually in every drawing that I've done I've done three of them there's an ink stain in all of them unfortunately and I'll have to I'm not I'm not a videographer I don't have a degree in anything having to do with art I've never studied it the focus on this isn't great but I have another video that should be posted today as well that I recorded on my phone that's focused a lot better so you can actually see as I'm illustrating this piece especially the ink portion so make sure you check that out it's great, it's super short, but you'll be able to see it better. So that you can see the focus going in and out. But I, I love this. I thought about coming up with a story for each one of these. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do like a blog or something on my website about, you know, October 20, what is this year? 2022, 2022? How do we say it? Someone was talking about 1995. He said 1995, I felt the way about it. Anyways, uh, so we are pretty much at the end. Um, I gave some, you know, basic, thin outlining lines. I went back, did some hashing in the shadowy areas. Um, that's kind of the process we're at right now. But the way that it just kind of brought the whole thing to life is just my favorite part about this illustration is her face. How just, you know, I'll show some close-ups at the end, but just the shading on the face. She's got her eyes closed. She has, you know, I gave her horns, but they look more like a crown. And it's just, I think it's just so beautiful. I shocked myself. I've never worked with ink other than that trying ink video and then a few other like dabbling with ink. But this is the first full ink illustration that I've done. I'm absolutely in love with. So I'm super excited for this month. Let me know if you guys are doing Inktober or Arttober, Drawtober, Blacktober, Peachtober, any of the Tobers, any of the Drawloweens <laughs> going on this month. I super appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for making it to the end. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.